Good day folks, since the Hero 9 Black has been released, one question that I have been asked repeatedly on my YouTube channel is which gimbal can you use with the Hero 9 Black? What's the best option? And in my very humble opinion, I believe the Crane M2 is an excellent choice, and there's many reasons why, which we'll get into later on in the video. The other thing we're going to discuss is whether we even still need a gimbal nowadays. With HyperSmooth 3.0 on the Hero 9 Black, do we even still need a gimbal to get nice smooth shots? The answer isn't a simple yes or no, so let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So the Hero 9 Black has been released on the market now for about a month and one question that I've been asked quite a bit is what gimbal should I use with my Hero 9 Black? Now the answer to that question is not a simple answer because GoPro in the last two years has changed the form factor twice. Last year we've seen a form factor change with the Hero 8 Black and this year we've seen it again with the Hero 9 Black. So with the constant changing of the form factor of the GoPro it's made some of these other gimbals obsolete. With the Feotech G6 we had to wait a while for an adapter to be made to make it compatible with the Hero 8 Black. And again, we're going to have to wait to see if they make one that will make it compatible with the Hero 9 Black, if they even do it all, or if it's even possible. The Hero 9 Black is quite a bit bigger, and it does weigh more, so the Feotech G6 may not even be able to handle that extra weight. So with all that said, that's why, in my opinion, the Crane M2 is an excellent choice. And the reason being is that this gimbal is not made for specifically one camera. As you can see here on the Crane M2, I just have a GoPro mount on it. So not only will this work with a GoPro, it works with small mirrorless cameras, small DSLRs, you can mount a smartphone in it. So this gimbal is very adaptable and it can accommodate a wide variety of cameras. If you watch my review from about a year, year and a half ago, I actually had a Canon M50 balanced in it. The Canon M50 still met the weight requirements of this gimbal and it worked just fine in it. So that's where it's kind of nice. Next year with the Hero 10, if they change the form factor again, you don't have to worry about not being able to use your gimbal with it. For the most part, it's still a fairly compact gimbal. Uh, one thing you don't want with a gimbal is to have it too big and bulky. When it's folded up, all the axes is locked together, so you don't have to worry about this thing rattling around in a camera bag, and it makes it quite a bit more compact for travel. Now, on top of the reasons of it being very compatible with different cameras and not having to worry about if GoPro changes the form factor, you'll still be able to use your gimbal, you can actually use it with the media mod. Some of these other third-party gimbals, even if they do make one for the Hero 9 Black, it's not going to work with the media mod if you do want to use it. I'll just show you that here. So as you can see here, I have the media mod installed and uh, it has no problem at all. And not only that, if you want to add other accessories like the light here, you can see, again, it has no problem. If you want to take it a step further and add a microphone, again, no issue at all. So that's why I really like this gimbal. It's still compact and it's very versatile in how you can use it. And you don't have to worry about it becoming obsolete down the road. All around, I am pretty happy with the gimbal's performance. It does have a lot of features. Uh, it does have a companion app as well that you can use to control the gimbal. Now, with all that said, a gimbal like this does have a negative, and that is that it needs to be balanced before you can use it. When you use a gimbal, something like the G6, all you have to do is attach your GoPro, and away you go. It's already balanced for the GoPro. With a gimbal like this, you have to go in and adjust these arms to make it balance, and sometimes that can be kind of a daunting process. Now, you only have to do it once if you're only going to be using one camera with it. You just have to balance it once, and then it's ready to go every time. So just keep that in mind you can't just take it out of the box hook your gopro up to it and away you go you will have to spend some time balancing it so now with all that said do we even still need gimbals nowadays hypersmooth 3.0 is pretty incredible and you can get some nice smooth shots and the quick answer is no we don't need gimbals nowadays if you're filming handheld with your gopro or you're strapping it to a bike or something like that the stabilization is just phenomenal that you don't even need a gimbal you can actually get results almost as good if not better than a gimbal sometimes so in those everyday situations no we don't need a gimbal which is a beautiful thing because who really wants to carry a big contraption around like this all day with you it's big and bulky and it just takes up space in your camera bag but with that said there are definitely situations where you still want to use a gimbal for example if you film at night or in very low light conditions electronic image stabilization just does not work so that's where a gimbal will come in if you do a lot of filming in dark situations and that goes for using ND filters as well here I have the freewheel gear ND filter set for the hero 9 black these ND filters work by blocking the light that hits the sensor which also affects the stabilization. So if you're trying to get cinematic shots and you're using an ND filter, you might still want to consider putting it on a gimbal and that way you can still have nice smooth shots. The other benefit to using a gimbal is that you can turn off all the built-in electronic image stabilization. That's going to give you a much wider field of view. So if having a very wide field of view is super important to you when you're filming handheld, then definitely a gimbal is a good choice. 
Now another reason to use the gimbal is if you're trying to get really cinematic shots, you can get a lot smoother panning motions and different creative shots like that using a gimbal. If you're trying to do it handheld, your hand doesn't always move as smoothly as a gimbal. So if you're trying to get some really creative shots with your Hero 9 Black, definitely a gimbal is a good choice still. That kind of goes to the next point and that's getting nice jib or crane style shots. You can attach a long handle to the bottom of the unit and get those nice shots where you start down really low and go up really high. Again, it makes it a lot easier to get creative. Another reason is motion time lapses. Most apps for these types of gimbals offer some type of motion time lapse feature. So you can mount this on a tripod, set your points, and then get a nice motion time lapse. Now lastly, another reason why you would maybe want to use a gimbal nowadays is for motion shots. And what I mean by that is you can mount this on a tripod and use the app as a remote to move the camera, control it back and forth. So if you're getting shots, say of a car race, you've got your tripod mounted near the fence where the cars are going by. You you don't have to be there right at it to move the camera. You can be standing back and move the camera nice and smoothly as the car and the action go by. Well folks, that's basically it for my video. Definitely if you are in the market for a gimbal for your Hero 9 Black, I highly recommend the Crane M2. I've been extremely happy with it over the past year. It's one of those things that you probably won't use a lot, but when you do need them, they are nice to have kicking around. And today's gimbals don't cost a lot of money, not like they did several years ago. So it's not a huge investment that you have to spend to get one, and it definitely does make it more justifiable to have one even if you only use it once in a while. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one.